Nigerian religious organizations are speaking out about severe environmental impacts of climate change at a recent interfaith seminar hosted by the All Africa Conference of Churches program and Africa Faith Actors Network for Climate Justice. Faith leaders emphasize the need for collaborative action to address climate change's destructive effects on ecosystems and human life. Archbishop Musa, Musa Philibus stressed that decisive steps are necessary to prevent climate change's harmful impact. We want to develop um, a very concrete agenda from here, a very simple one. Of course, collaborating with the government is very critical. We are only complementing what the government is doing. We see our role as religious leaders uh, as very important because we are working with people at the grassroots and we have uh, a specific responsibility to bring to the grassroots the efforts that are done at various levels so that at adherents of our two religious bodies are very conscious of the impacts of uh, climate change and what they can do even at their own levels to mitigate and to adapt to this very serious issue that is affecting us all. In her presentation, Dr. Mi Ohajinwa explained how the activities of man in his quest for scientific breakthroughs for the development of mankind has led to the many human challenges mankind is confronted with today. The health of the earth affects humans. How we can get the disease because as a result of pollution, if you pollute the environment, it's going to come back to us. If you overfish, uh, overfish, over, you know, over mine, take a lot of resources from the environment without replacing it. We won't have the rules for the future generations. So we are raising the awareness today to make people to be conscious of the fact that this environment or this earth needs to be nurtured. It's the mother earth. It has sustained us. It gives us water, air, forest, anything we need. So if you don't take care of it, it will not be able to keep sustaining us for the next generation. So you see like today we are losing some animals because we are not taking care of the environment. We are affecting their their habitats. So you see there's animals dying. People are hunting them for bush meat, which you are not supposed to. A representative from the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security discussed the impact of climate change on agricultural production and the need to adopt a more eco-friendly mindset. Participants pledged to collaborate and work towards ensuring a safe and livable environment. We encourage uh, the use of uh, technology as well that will promote uh, the conservation of, uh, of our soil. We encourage our farmers, especially the smallholders farmers, uh, to avoid the use of uh, synthetic uh, manure, which is a uh, we commonly call it uh, uh, inorganic uh, fertilizer. We encourage you to plant uh, one or two things, like uh, if you can use a polythene bag or if you know the cement bag to cultivate uh, yam and other crops that will enhance uh, food uh, security in the country. I'm so interested in working with the youth as well to create awareness and let them know that climate change is a very diversity factor if we don't look into it and st stop it for the nearest future and the next generation to come. We tend to work with people from different levels, sectors, to let them know that these preventions or interventions have to take place. And as a prophetic hadith that says that all should be merciful to any kind of creature, be it uh, animal, be it plant, they're all creatures of God. And I've been uh, kind of a uh, stalwart or vice gerent of our law on earth. We have responsibility towards seeing the success of this earth and in order for us to make sure that the generation to come, they can benefit from our what has been, uh, been uh, uh, conserved or preserved by the, their pre uh, predecessors. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.